Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Finally, the sun shining through a good portion of the Treasure Valley today. Some places that haven't seen sun in a while, seeing some sunshine today and earlier in the day as well. So turning out to be a very pleasant day. In fact, I think we can show you a live look at the Ford Dealers uh, Tower Cam from atop the Grove Hotel. And there it is. Blue skies, just a few high, thin, cirrus clouds. It doesn't feel so oppressive when you don't have that low cloud cover just kind of beaming down on you. So a nice day today. Tomorrow, the sun is going to start to fade behind clouds again. But this cloud cover will be coming in a little higher. So it'll be in advance of a storm system tracking our direction. But still, blue skies now looking nice. Let's look at these high temperatures along with that. 45 degrees in Boise, 44 Mountain Home, 49 in Twin. A little cooler in these locations, but it's warmed up for Boise westward. So, ah, feeling a little nice outside. Now, some changes are going to be coming in. I'm going to show you those coming up here. And we're talking about a storm system that is going to track in our direction. Not going to be a huge deal for the Treasure Valley, but could be a huge deal for the Magic Valley. 43 in Boise now. 37 Ontario radar not really showing much going on at all. And again, we've got a lot of sunshine around as well. There's that 44 in Mountain Home. What I'm talking about for Friday morning, basically, late Thursday night, Friday morning, what a storm watch now for the Western Magic Valley from Gooding, Wendell, Twin Falls, down to Jackpot. There's a potential for upwards to three to six inches of snow in Twin Falls with up to a foot of snow on the higher elevations of the, the uh, Southern Magic Valley. We're talking Pomerel Mountain could get two feet of snow from this. I say that because they just get so much snow there when a storm system passes to our south. Same thing in the Waihee Mountains. We're going to watch that very, very closely. In the meantime, there are the blue skies. So high clouds. These will be approaching tomorrow morning from the west, moving on in. I don't see a big storm system for us, but tomorrow afternoon, a rain or snow shower not out of the question, and some scattered snow showers tomorrow night, with maybe upwards to an inch of snow by Friday morning uh, in the mountain home area, but points to the west, probably not going to see all that much. Here's the storm system right in here. See this curl? There's three of them all packed together. This front right here is going to end that inversion once and for all. Gusty winds will start to move back in. Tomorrow afternoon we'll get breezes and then gusty winds on Friday. And we're talking about cooler weather coming in and uh, more blue skies coming in for the weekend as well. want to shift the uh, focus to the east here. Very important now. See this storm system right here and this one down to the south. 35 years ago today, the blizzard of 1978 practically just ground southern New England to a halt for almost two weeks. I had nine days canceled from school. Nothing was open for over a week. And this situation here is setting up for another major storm system to track on to the north and to the east. They will combine in here. And here are some of the snowfall accumulations from our forecast. Right now, weather service forecasts for New York City are not for much snow. But this forecast model, the one that I like, is saying more than 15 inches of snow just outside of New York City. And I will bet at least 20 inches of snow in Worcester, 20 inches of snow in downtown Boston. Some places could see 20 to 30 inches of snow here. So again, this location will be ground to a halt as we head from Friday into Saturday. So that could affect even here in the west with the airline travel as any flights coming from this region. So a blizzard is a possibility for eastern portions of Rhode Island and in Massachusetts. I'll keep you updated on that major storm system in the east. In the meantime, our weather Nice today. The nice weather starts to fade away tomorrow afternoon as the clouds start to move. It will be mostly cloudy later today, but still in the 40s tomorrow. We'll get some sunshine, but it goes away quickly and a chance for a couple snow showers. This will not be a big storm for the mountains. Maybe an inch of snow in McCall during the latter part of the day and tomorrow night. But I think for the most part, this storm system will push to the south of the Uwaihi Mountains. Here's my on your side extended forecast. Notice the temperatures only stay near 40. In fact, upper 30s, but will increase the sunshine. The breeze will kick in Friday could be a morning snow flurry on Saturday, a late day snow flurry, but I think blue skies otherwise, the puffy clouds and a brisk, beautiful day on 38 degrees is still beautiful on it, Sunday it because be. the sun yes. will be shining and I think we'll get sun into the beginning of next week as well. Uh, like